Yo, what is up my beautiful people? If you've been following my channel for any time, you know that I have a lot of handhelds, probably too much. And the thing is, I always upgrade the SSD, but there are only a few devices that are worthy enough, that I think are good enough to be in what I call the four terabyte club. And right now the four terabyte club consists of the One X Player X1, the a and Kuhn, still my favorite handheld of all time, the ROG Ally X, and the original 7840U One X Fly. This is the four terabyte crew. But today we're adding a new device. Today we are adding a new device to the four terabyte club and that is none other than the new One X Fly F1 Pro with this beautiful OLED display, the new uh, HX370 processor. This thing is amazing. So today we're gonna be opening it up. We're gonna be upgrading the SSD. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this upgrade. Welcome to the four terabyte crew. Now, before we do that, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell and all that great YouTube stuff. Now let's get into this upgrade. Okay, so this is all the things that we need for this upgrade. We need, of course, the SSD. There's a four terabyte SSD from uh, Team Group. Not sure if you're about that company, but I've been using them for a while. They never let me down. This is an SSD clone tool. So you put your two SSDs in here. It's going to make an exact copy. And of course, we need a tool set uh, to get into the device. So these are what, this is what we need for the upgrade. Uh, let's get into this process. So first thing you want to do is uh, turn off the device, of course. You don't want to really open this when it's still on. So just shut down the device. I want to show you guys where all of the screws are, because if you look around, there's not many screws on the One X Fly. I don't think there are any visible screws uh, that you can see. And that may be intimidating for some people, because if you don't see the screws, you kind of ask like, you know, what's going on? I don't want to risk it. But that's why I'm here for you guys. I'm going to show you where all of the screws are. And it's not that bad. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take off these side covers. You're gonna wanna sort of get into this little uh, crack here. I don't know if you have like a pry tool or you can use your fingernail if possible. Just pry this up and then you're gonna just pry that up, right? So that's gonna come up. Now don't just take it all up in one go. You're gonna wanna follow this line around here. So you see this, this line? You're gonna wanna follow that and pry up the clips that are in the inside there. So follow this line, go around until it's like this. Now that it's open like this, don't just pull it off because there are some uh, some clips on the backside. Flip it over, there's some clips on the backside. Follow this ridge along here, follow this ridge. There's gonna be a few clips here and now it is off. So that side is off and you will see there are some screws in here. So now we're seeing some screws. There's a screw here and a screw here. So that's good to see. Now do the same thing on the other side and you will get to the other screws. Okay, so now that we have the other plastic cover off, you will see there's actually two more screws here. There's a screw here and a screw there, but we're not done. We have four screws uh, revealed, but we have a few more screws that we want to uh, get to. Now on the top, there are some screws, but you notice you can't see them. That's because we have to pry off this top plastic piece and also these two little button covers. So just get a pry tool, pop that up. Just go careful with that, right? Just pry that up and it's going to come out too. So, Pry that up, that starts to come out. Now that's the first step, pry it up a little bit more and then pull it out. So now that's out, you haven't broken any clips, that is good. Now, there's a screw here, but we have to take off this whole plastic piece and the other button. So we're just gonna wanna pry this up, get under there, pry that up. As you go along, just try to pry it up carefully. Don't like force it, go along the entire uh, length of the uh, device here. And then you can pry that up, hold it up and then keep going, pry it up carefully now you don't want to break this thing here so just pry it up carefully pry it up carefully and then keep going along the length of the device here now when you get this up you can see the buttons are going to fall out don't worry we're going to put those back in and we have that out we can take the buttons off as well don't worry about the buttons they just go in um like little blocks and then we get the other side and then you can just pry that up and we are getting to our screws here so we'll see some more screws on the top we can see we have one two three screws on top there. I don't know if you can see that. Screw here, screw here, and screw here. So now we have three screws on the top, but we are not done. There are some hidden screws, some really sneaky hidden screws. There's actually a screw under this little uh, sticker here, and there's another screw under this sticker here. So I'm gonna peel this up just to reveal the, uh, the screw. This is just like the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the serial number. Just peel that up a little bit. 
you will see the screw under there. So that's the other screw. And then there's a screw in here. So now we get our screwdriver out. And this is a, what is this? This is probably a double zero, a double zero Phillips head screw. And then we are ready to go. Now I'm gonna unscrew all of the screws and then I'll, I'll show you guys the next step of getting this thing open. Okay, so now all of our screws are out. Now the next thing to do is just pry this thing open. Now you can start from like the side here or from the back. Just start somewhere where you can like get inside there and then pry it up. So we're gonna just start prying this uh, back open. You can see we have a little gap here. So I'm gonna just pry that open. And once you get that started to come open, just go around the edge. It's, it should start to open up uh, rather easily. So now we have that open and you are good to go. There's no, there's no uh, cable or anything connecting that. Um, so you are good there. Now it's open. So we're almost done with the uh, SSD uh, retrieval, but we have uh, another layer to go. So under the fan here, so you can see a pretty large fan. Uh, this is the battery here. We have to now get under this fan plate to get to the SSD, which is here. So uh, we'll keep going. First thing you wanna do is take off the fan. So there's three screws here for the fan. We're gonna take those screws off. Okay, so we got the three fan screws off. Now you can sort of uh, just peel this like uh, thermal tape up. Try to be careful with this tape because you're gonna definitely wanna uh, keep this tape. So just peel it up carefully. Don't mess this tape up because when you're putting it back, you're gonna wanna flip that back. Um, try not to let it curl up either. Just try to have this tape on the side um, because you're gonna wanna keep that tape. So now we can take the fan out, take the fan out, and then it's wrapped around this little uh, clip here. So you can uh, sort of unclip that and then set the fan to the side. You don't have to unplug the fan or anything, but just set it to the side. Uh, make sure you watch out for that cable. And now we have to get this little plate off. There's a metal plate. We're gonna get that plate off. So we have a few more screws here to get this plate off. Okay, so we got those screws out. Now we can lift this plate up, right? So you wanna just lift this plate up and out of the way, and you will see the SSD right here. So here it is, the internals. Uh, I'm not gonna go any further, so it's not a full like breakdown or anything, but here we have the SSD. Just one more screw, and we will have our SSD out. All right, so we got the SSD screw. And here it is, you guys, the SSD from the One X Fly. Check it out. There's the SSD here. This is a one terabyte. It is an Acer SSD, so not bad, one terabyte, but we're gonna replace this. Hang on, I'm gonna clean this up and then get to the next step. Okay, so I didn't really clean up. I don't know, sue me, it's Christmas. But the next step is to clone the SSD. Now, some people like to use a like a, a software cloner, but I swear by this hardware SSD cloner, I've been using it for like a lot of my devices. I have so many that I'm, I'm, I'm always cloning these things. So I just make sure to have this ready to go. Anyway, you put the target SSD in here and the source SSD, and it's gonna make a perfect clone. And then you have the remaining space as an empty partition on the drive that you can expand or you know name however you like when you actually boot up the device. So I'm gonna let this run its course. I don't have much data on there, so it may take like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but I'm gonna skip forward to when it's done and then get to the next step of the process. Okay, so after about, what was that, 20 or 30 minutes, all of the lights are blue. That means we have a perfect one-to-one -one copy from our original SSD into our new SSD. Now we can take this out and pretty much do the process in reverse. I'm gonna speed through this, but, uh, do the process in reverse and then I'll show you guys what to do once you get this thing uh, up and running in uh, Windows. Okay, so this is the last step after putting it back together. You will notice that the SSD is going to pretty much look how it looked before you did the, uh, the upgrade. That's because it made a one-to-one -one copy and the extra space is still unallocated. So you see here we have our original two partitions. Uh, what you're gonna do is you wanna go to uh, format the SSD and that is going to allow you to get that space back. So we're gonna go to, uh, to format create and format hard disk partitions, and then it's gonna show us the rest of that space there. So we can see we have the original partitions here, and then we can have, have 2.8 terabytes there, or 2,800 uh, 
gigabytes unallocated what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much like hold that until it brings up the little menu and then you're going to go to new simple volume you see that there new simple volume click on that and then just go through the process here you don't have to change any of these numbers just click next click next again and then we can uh give it a name i like to just call this games that's just my simple simple way of doing this i'll just call this games so i just call that games and then once you do that you are going to click uh next finish and then it will allocate that drive there and you should be good to go so now it's going to look like you have another 2.8 uh, terabyte drive on your uh, device so now we are finished we do have three partitions um but they're all on one drive if you don't know how to get steam to recognize that i'll show you that now but if you're familiar with steam you know how to just add an additional uh storage uh drive but i'll show you that now just in case you don't know okay so the last last and final step is to go to steam just if you use steam go to steam go to storage you're not going to see the ssd there we're going to want to add an additional drive we add that second one because i didn't have that allocated already and then we'll add the third one and now you see we have all of our storage space on steam and it is good to go now you can repeat that task for any other launchers if they require um, you to add an additional storage uh, drive. But there you go. We now have the four terabyte SSD in the One X Fly and this thing is definitely worthy of being in the four terabyte crew. Now I'll leave a comment down below if you have any specific questions on the, uh, the process, anything that you think I didn't cover, leave all those comments down below. I'll try to leave a link to the uh, SSD cleaner that I use in the description because this thing is amazing. I use this on all my handhelds and it has never let me down. Um, it's just one button and then you are good to go. I'll leave a link for this. Let me know what other questions you have or concerns or what you wanna see me test on the One X Fly. Stay tuned for all of the testing videos. I'm gonna be comparing it to some heavy hitters like the you know RG LIX and some other devices. Let me know what you guys wanna see me test. As always, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, all that great YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I can now enjoy some games on this absolute beast. OLED, that new processor. I'm liking this thing so far. Anyway, peace.